Hello, I'm Ernie Tapia and I'm 39 years old. I'm a teacher and a coach here at Hondo Independent School District. Hello, I'm Tracy Tapia. I'm 36 years old and I'm the principal here at Wolves Intermediate. I've been a Hondo ISD student starting in kindergarten all the way through 12th grade year and graduated in 2002. I was a student in Hondo Independent School District since kindergarten all the way through my senior year and graduated in 2001. Being part of Hondo, one of the most important parts that I feel is important about this community is that when, when someone struggles like myself, where parents aren't around and no one's home to help you study, no one help you, helps there to help you do your homework and, and take that extra step whenever you're stuck, um, my sixth grade math teacher, Mrs. Sadoff, was a big part of, of making me who I was. I entered her classroom in, in sixth grade. She pulled me to the side one time, and I'll never forget. It's like it was yesterday. She told me, um, and she asked me, she's like, Ernie, I want you to know that you're the only, first, you're the only person in this whole entire grade that actually um, got 100 on this assessment. And I was, I was, I was very shocked. I was, I was a kid who had never been praised. I was a kid who had never had very much um, responsibility that never had any guidance and, and when she acknowledged that opportunity that oh she took that opportunity and acknowledged my efforts and my and my accomplishment that's the person who made me want to become a math teacher my first grade teacher mrs. Pat Roche is my number one inspiration um, I remember her having a conversation with me because she caught me cheating on a math test uh, using a calculator and I can remember her sitting down with me and telling me that you are a better person than that um, just helping me guide myself through through life it was one of the very first uh, conversations I had ever had to where someone had told me you can be better and this is how you can be better as a child when we were growing up we had curtains on on every door that wasn't an essential door like my parents bedroom that was pretty much the only one that had a door and then going out and I'll never forget the, the, the time whenever I learned my first lesson as a young child. I was, I was going into seventh grade. I, was, I had just started playing football and I was staying with one of, our, one of my best friend's house at one of my best friend's house named Zach. And um, his, his sister was coming in from cheer practice and I was just in the bathroom, using the bathroom. And she walks in and she's like, what are you doing? You're supposed to close the door. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. You know? And, and she just walked out. But she and that family taught me that you have to be responsible for your actions by doing what you're supposed to do and, and understanding that there's more to the world than just what I've known or what I've been exposed to. So what does sports mean to me? What does sports mean to this community? It allows people to go into homes and environments that they're not accustomed to and it allows them to see that there is a different world that you don't know until you're exposed to it and want to be part of it and not to be complacent with where you are and not to be a victim to your environment. So a struggle that I went through at a young age of 16 uh, was that my father had passed away. He was my primary parent and so um, it, was, it was a traumatic experience but through support and love and care from different folks here in our community, um, especially Miss Prestige who was a childhood friend's mother and also an assistant principal, um, taught me things that it's okay, it's a memory now, it's time to move forward, keep keep on pushing, and um, it's people like that, that that help us build who we are today. The kids that I'm trying to pay this for, which is a big reason for coming back to Hondo, and I feel like the kids that are staying in Hondo need to have been impacted in a way so they can be productive citizens and help our campuses and our school and our community go forward and be at a better position than it was when they got here, um, especially with the fact that we have kids in this environment and community. We want what's best for them, which is a big part of coming home, is getting to pay that, all that love, all that attention, all the, we're not going to judge you based off what you look like, paying that forward to the kids of this community. That, and that's what Hondo means to me, and that's why I'm here. And when people say, why did you come back? I say, because I owe this place my world. I owe them my life, I really do.